Okay, so the purpose of this video is to address an issue Facebook has had lately with um, uh, group communities that have large amounts of photos, and, from what, and I, this will also work on individual accounts. In our case, our Facebook group has about 9,300 photos. Um, you really can't see with the camera quality here, I'm using a tablet, but there's 9,307 photos currently. So to show you the problem, if I were to click on photos, there's actually too many photos for Chrome or Internet Explorer or Firefox to even load. This is a Facebook glitch, it's not a browser glitch. Um, Facebook just can't, can't feed you 10,000 pictures on one screen and it just times out. So as admins, we can't delete the pictures. That's a problem for us. So I found a neat little trick that may help. Um, did some Googling. There's a program out there. Uh, it's by a company called Jitbit Software and it's uh, jitbit.com. It's called Jitbit Macro Recorder. So I downloaded Jitbit. I used Firefox in this case because Firefox has the option to tell it um, not to load Im images. And if I have to load every single image in the group, that's 10,000 images, it's gonna take quite a while. So I told Firefox to load with no images. Um, that's very easy to do. Click on Tools, click on Options, click on Content uncheck the box for load images automatically and your problem is solved. So now you have a Firefox screen that pulls up here with no pictures. So go to your album. In this case I've gone to one of the albums that has about 7,500 photos in it and uh, you know the page loads just like this. Um, of course the image is blank but the hyperlink still still works. So the option down here to remove this picture you can see that is still here and if you click that it pops up and says, are you sure you want to remove? You press continue. Now you have to do this 10,000 times. So that's kind of annoying. Now using Jitbit, um, you program it very easily. You just tell it, you click on record and you, you pretty much click the button that you want, click the next button that you want and tell it to stop recording. Once that's done, it has saved the macro. So I have, I have tweaked my macro a slight a bit. Um, it pretty much says, you know, go here on the page uh, wait 3.5 seconds, left click the mouse, wait a couple seconds, press enter, that'll, that's the continue box that pops up, so that makes that go, go away. Wait six more seconds for the page to reload, go back to the place uh, where the mouse was and do the same thing again. So pretty much, I'll show you what this is going to do. I've got my page here in the background. I'm going to go to my macro and I'm going to hit play. Macro. <clears throat> I've set this macro to repeat forever, so it's going to keep looping until I tell it to stop. And you see it up there in the top left corner of the page. It tells you the macro is playing. Press Control Q to abort or Control P to pause. But so it's just pressing those two keys for me again and again. It's going to click the mouse right here. Now it's going to wait a second. It's going to press Enter. Now the page is going to reload, and in about three seconds, it's going to click the mouse again. That's all it's going to do, and it's going to do it 9,330 times until all the photos are gone. So um, for those of you that have spent days and weeks and months trying to figure out how to get past this glitch, maybe this will help. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, have a great day.